Alright guys, welcome back. CFP here and this is Survival Living. So, as you see, we've got the bug out bag out. Now, like I said last week, um, during one of our live streams, I am uh, going on a few day camping trip. I believe we're going to go ahead and make it a three day camping trip. Um, what we're taking is what's in the bug out bag. Now, I'm fixing to break this thing down, show you what we've got. This is what we will be using. Other than camera equipment, which with the camera equipment, it adds a lot more weight to my gear. But let's go ahead and break into this and go over everything that's inside this. Uh, real quick, I want to make another announcement. This Wednesday, um, we will be having our premiere for the channel giveaway. We've got the uh, Wise Emergency Survival Backpack and also the uh, Praxis Prepper Bug Out Card Game. Um, those are the items that will be given away. Uh, that will be this Wednesday, and it will be um, 6 o'clock my time, uh, 4 o'clock there in Arizona. But um, we're going to have Ryan with us from Prescott Caliber Club. He's going to be on the uh, chat room with us. He's going to be helping with the giveaway. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay guys, so along with our bug out gear, we've got to carry camera equipment. Yes, camera equipment is very important if you're running a YouTube channel. Same with memory cards. I love this thing. This thing is waterproof, which is freaking nice. Um, this right here is a uh, 4400 milliamp charger. Uh, battery bank with a solar panel adapter. This here is actually what keeps the cell phones, the other cameras, GoPro, everything. I can charge with this right here. So that is definitely key. So yes, we have to have camera equipment to film outdoors. Okay guys, so this is the bug out well this is for the camp out actually uh change of clothes this is only uh two pairs let's get that out of the way that's all i need we're only doing a three-day camp out all right now let's go ahead and get over here well actually let's move some items yes i am getting old and having a foam mat to sleep on feels amazing so yes, that goes on the outside of my pack. Move that out of the way. All right, lighting right fast. Headlamp. That's just a little Harbor Freight job right here, but works very well. I just recently did a review on this thing, guys. I am very impressed with this. Um, it lasted very long and it's very bright. And I've been using this for studio lighting outside while I'm filming outside, so that is coming with us. Uh, of course, the charge cable and everything else is in another location. It's in one of the zippers. I didn't bring all those cables out. And I have shown this in the past. This is the uh, solar lantern. Works very well. It's got the hand cranks. It's got a backup for the batteries. Um, solar power. Works very well. We've been using this quite a bit, actually. And I like keeping this in my pack. It's large. But when you're setting up a camp, it's actually nice to have. All right, so now swing over here. I've always used a tarp. Tarps work great. Tarp colors up to you. I prefer camo or a dark colored tarp. This is a camo one. This is a nine by 12. But this here is a two man tent that has recently just been added to my bug out gear. I have one for the wife's tent in case we're, I mean the wife's bag in case we ever get separated, she has a tent. Instead of having to just use a tarp, but she also has a tarp. The reason why I'm bringing a tent along this time. Y'all saw the camera equipment. I need something that I know is going to stay dry with all that equipment. I don't want anything damaged. And with the weather we've been having here in Florida, especially Panama City area, we've been getting a lot of rain. I don't mind camping out in the rain. It doesn't bother me one bit. But I don't want my equipment getting damaged. So, we do have a tent. All right. Over here we have first aid. This is our first aid kit. 
Um, we also have in there our maps of the campout area. I've already been out there this week and did some scouting around to make sure everything was in good position. Did find a water source, so we're good there. Speaking of water source, we do have water purification. Open this up. This is waterproof, by the way. All right, so we've got water tablets. We've got attachments. We've got a gallon bag here. This is for the Sawyer. This is the larger camp filter. Which attaches to this one right here. Now I do have our smaller personal filter which I keep in the side packet of the bag, of the bug out bag. All right, this is a smaller one, but I couldn't fit it in this with all these attachments and stuff. Uh, these other bottles are water purification tablets. All these other attachments go to the gravity fed system here for a camp is one gallon. The reason why I keep the smaller one with me is because I keep soda bottles that the uh, Sawyer Minis can screw right on top of. Get right on top, and I have purification. Um, along with water over there, we do have a two quart canteen. I like to keep that. All right, so let me move this out of the way. So that is our water purification needs there. All right, so we have rope. Keep it all in one bag rope we got zip ties i do like having zip ties on me they come in very handy one year in a hurry so zip ties as well as rope goes in that bag of course i always keep twine with me i didn't have it in the bag because so i don't like digging for it when i need it all right so we also have this is um, the emergency blanket that I got from um, Prescott Caliber Club, the emergency bivvy. That did go into my uh, bug up bag. This is extra large. Very roomy. Saves you on having a sleeping bag. I will be taking a sleeping bag with me. I don't keep that in my backpack. Um, I usually just keep this now. But I will be taking a sleeping bag with me on this camp out. Uh, let's get some things out of the way. Machete. Very nice knife. Actually, this was a gift from my brother. I actually like this thing. It's actually very nice. Set that out of the way. Uh, this is a skinning set. It's actually very nice. I do like this. I have not used it yet though. It's still all brand new. I got this, um, I don't know, a few months ago. I have not been hunting, so I have not gotten to check it out yet, but it is in my pack. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold the camera while I'm doing this. And I don't want to cut myself. So, yep, got that. Also, we have a collapsible saw. I don't know if I've ever done a review on this. Hold on a second, guys. I've got to... Uh, mash this down to release the saw which with one hand is nearly impossible to do if i remember correctly this is a ozark trail as you can see i've been using it, it actually works very well it is not as nice as some of the top end saws but it does work for what i need so, as you see, there is no hatchet, there is no axe, quite frankly, 
it's just too heavy for me to carry. All right, next up, we have, I believe this is, let's check it out. Look at what happened. I actually left this down earlier today, and my wife's wrap has decided to chew on it. Awesome. Luckily, though, they did not get inside. This is the mosquito net that we got from um, Prescott Caliber Club, guys. And I keep it right here in this pack. That will be coming with us. We are in Florida, and we've got pterodactyls. We got some big mosquitoes. All right, so I do have nails. I, there for a while, I was carrying a hammer around. I found out just picking up a rock works great for what I need with nails. Usually, I'm just using those for um, lines and things anyway. But yes, I do keep nails with me. I know they sell smaller, lightweight hammers. Uh, I might get one of those later, but I got tired of carrying a claw hammer with me all the time. But you will see that I do not have the uh, pry bars and stuff like that with me because I don't need those with this camping trip. Oh, uh, Altoids can. This is a small sewing kit. Actually, it's a very large sewing kit for the size. Uh, fishing hook swivels. Line. And yes, bobbers. Although you can make your own bobbers outdoors. Um, but hey, it really doesn't take up that much room. So I'll throw it in there anyway. Okay, work gloves. Yes, leather work gloves. I carry gloves with me. Ah, uh, what we got here? Should be binoculars. Yes, they are. These are a smaller set. They actually work very nicely. Lightweight. I keep them in the pack. Compass. Like I said, we do have a map for the area. This is just a cheap emergency poncho, guys. And I got a bunch of these because they don't, they're not expensive. Um easily fold up they're convenient uh, I usually use the same one over and over again I'm still using the same one for work and I've been using it for about two months now and it's been raining all the time so I always carry those with us uh, let's see here what else we got here this is night vision yes this is generation one night vision I am taking this with me so I can see better at night uh, of course this is going to be um, in the Ziploc baggie with extra batteries to power up the night vision. And, of course, I got my own Central Florida Prepper fire starting kit. Mine is modified, though, because, um, well, I designed them, and uh, I like a certain amount in here. The reason why the kits are a certain way over there at Ryan's store at Prescott Caliber Club is because of the cost and shipping and everything else. So this is my own personal one. Um, yeah, I keep those in my pack along with extra matches. These are the stormproof matches that are inside this pack. Well, I can't get that open with one hand. Let's see if we can uh, get this open. I believe in keeping multiple ways of creating fire, guys. All right. Sorry guys, I about lost the uh, camera there. Okay, so, we have matches. Well, also inside this, we have the uh, extra strikers and things like that in there, because I don't like keeping the striker on the outside in case it gets wet on the outside, then you lost your striker. So we got that, we've got extra matches, uh, lighters, fire starter, and, I believe that is it all right perfect okay moving along so I've already shown this before in the past this is a little collapsible micro burner stove it goes on these little Coleman fuel tanks I do carry these um, in case I want to cook boil water whatever without producing smoke this is ideal and this always stays in my pack all right, so odds and end, we got plastic forks, spoons. Oh, my spork. That's my tactical spork. Metal cup. This is just a standard mess kit. Uh, this is one that you picked up at Walmart, and this thing has some age to it. As you can see, it's been banged all the crap. Um, still works very well, though. All right, over here, bug spray. 
gotta have bug spray, especially down here. Of course, we got bottles of water, coffee, coffee, we got some mountain house, and I am definitely going to probably pick up some more uh, food to take with me. Like I said, it's three days. I mean, these things are um, serving size one packet. 2.5 servings. 2.5 servings. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a couple more just to take with me so I don't have to sit and carry a lot of canned goods and stuff like that in the backpack. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that is what we are, well, I am taking with me. Uh, basically, with the camera equipment, I'm just going to put in a secondary duffel bag something I can carry of course my uh, bug up bag is I'm wearing that but that is what we're taking with us this is going to be not this Monday next Monday not tomorrow the following week that is when I'm going to go out there now what I'm going to attempt to do because I do have a cell phone with internet service I will try to do a live stream from out there in the woods we'll see how it works I know I'm going to be filming a lot there. I'm going to be going over raised beds, creating fire, fishing traps, the whole nine yards. All right, I'm going to try to get as much information and get it on film as possible. And the only way to really do it correctly is to be on location. Now, I've done how to do survival snares and stuff like that here in the backyard. Well, let's go into the woods. All right, guys, catch y'all later.